Friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert multiple rows in the database using an HTML form in PHP. So I have a form here. You can see there are three fields, item name, rate and stock. And if I click on plus button here, so it's adding another row with the three fields. So you can add as many rows as you want. And if you click on this trash button, it will delete the row. So if I insert a row here, I have added two rows here. And if I click on submit button, so items created successfully. If I click on view items, it is showing the data inserted in the database. So this way I am creating multiple rows in the database and fields are added dynamically in the form. So let me show you how we can develop this application using PHP and MySQL. I am in XAMPP htdocs folder and here I'll create a folder. Give the name as add items. Go to this folder. Go to command prompt and enter code dot to open it in Visual Studio code. So we'll create a new file. Let us give the name as addmore.php HTML5. We'll use Bootstrap 5 CDN. So this is Bootstrap 5 CDN. Copy it. Paste it here. Change the title. Now we'll add another CDN here for the font awesome. Font awesome CDN. We'll use font awesome 4. Font awesome dot mean dot CSS. Copy. Paste it. And also we'll add our custom style. We'll have style.css under CSS folder. So create a folder. Within this create a file. Style.css. So all the custom styles will be adding in this style.css. Add a div. If you see our form. There is a row for the labels and then we have input fields. We'll create a form first. Create a div. Let us give the class name as items. And within that we'll have the row. BS5 input. We'll use column MD3. Change this to item name. We'll make the label bold. Give the name as item name and it will be an array because we have multiple values. Remove this. Now we'll create another row. In the first row we'll have labels only. And second row we'll have input fields only. So remove the label. So now just copy. Item name then rate and then stock. And here copy this. It should be rate and make it number. Also give minimum equal to one. Change this to stock. So let us run it. So localhost add items and then the file name is addmore.php. 
So let us give a h1 here. Just copy this. We will add some styles. Give the width as 50% margin auto. And for the form also we will add some styles. So this is the form. So we will add the style later. So let me just add the button here for the add more rows. So just copy this and then add a button change it to plus so if you refresh it now so this is the plus button and now we will add some style for the form give a border give color black for the time being Give a padding 10 px border radius refresh change the color here now we have to add a submit button So just before the form, we will add a submit button. So this is the submit button. Now we will add jQuery to add the row. So if you click on this button, it will add another row. So we will now write the jQuery for this. We will add jQuery CDN first. And now let us write the jQuery to add the row. Give a title here, add more row and give an ID here. So we will use this ID in our jQuery on click event, give the ID here. function event first give e dot prevent default so now we need to add a row so if you see here this is the row where we are adding the input and this is under div class items so we will add the row in this div dot items dot we'll use the append function here so we just copy this row copy this entire row for the input so that there will be another row for the input let us refresh it click on plus button so it's adding the row so now we need to change this it should be delete button so instead of add more give this title so change this instead of add more remove make it danger give the id as remove and here we will use font awesome fa fa trash refresh it click on plus button so you can see rows are added now we have to write the jquery to delete the row if i click now nothing is happening so we have to write the jquery now we have used the id as remove here so we will use this in our jquery script on click remove 
फंक्शन इवेंट ई डॉट प्रिवेंट डिफॉल्ट सो वी हैव टू रिमूव द रो नाउ नाउ इफ यू सी द रिमूव बटन दिस इज अ रिमूव बटन एंड इट्स पेरेंट इज दिस डीव एंड इट्स नेक्स्ट पेरेंट इज द रो सो वी हैव टू डिलीट द एंटायर रो सो दैट इज वाई यू हैव टू यूज द विल यूज द पेरेंट मेथड हियर डॉलर दिस डॉट पेरेंट डॉट पेरेंट then use the remove method so the first parent is the div under which the button is created and next parent is the row and then we are removing so we are removing the row actually so that is why you are using parent dot parent dot remove refresh it click on plus button click on delete button so it is deleting So our jQuery is working. So now we'll write the Ajax script to submit the form. In the form, let us make this input field as required. We'll create this as mandatory field. So now we'll write the Ajax script. डॉलर डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट ऑन सबमिट वी हैव द आई डी फॉर द फॉर्म सो लेट अस गिव एन आई डी हियर एफ आर एम हैश एफ आर एम यूज डॉलर डॉट एजक्स method post give url so we'll write a php program to insert the row in the database let us give the name of the php program as create items dot php data let us just give dollar this dot we'll use serialize method here to get the values from the forms success function for the time being we will just use an alert here alert response so basically we are calling an ajax script where we are using method as post url we are creating a new php program to get the data from the forms and insert the data in the database we are using serialize method to get the values from the form so in the success function we are just showing the response from the ajax we'll change it later now we'll write the code for create items dot php new file create items dot php now so far we have not used any php or database we have used only html and jquery so we'll create a table in mysql database and then write the php script to insert the row in the database so we'll create a table so we'll use the test database and here we'll create a new table give the table name as items id item name rate stock item name varchar rate integer create the table change it to primary key and then make it auto increment so our table is created now we'll create a database connection script first so let us create a folder cfg within this we'll create dbconnect.php we'll create a mysql instance and we'll use the four parameters here server user id password and database name let us define them we'll use localhost user id will use the root user and there is no password for the root user we'll use test database check for the connection error if there is any error we'll just stop here so we'll use die 
so this is our database connection script and we'll include this in our create items.php now since it is in cfg folder so we give cfg slash dbconnect.php so let us get the data from the form now field name is item name just copy this and this is rate and this is stock so we'll use a for loop here we'll use the count let us give the item name depending on number of rows here so we'll use the count of item name which is actually the length of the array so we'll use insert statement here because we'll be inserting the row one by one in the database our table name is items so let's see the field name here item name rate and stock give three question mark here we'll use prepare statement now you can see we have used dollar connect because we have used this in dbconnect.php now we'll bind the parameter so we have three inputs item name is string and then these two are integer so s i i string integer integer and then the values so item name give dollar i rate dollar i stock execute now we can see we are using a for loop and executing each row once for loop is completed we just give a success here echo success now if we want to handle the error here so we'll use the try catch here so we'll just keep this entire thing within try so for the successful insert we are using echo success and in case there is an error we are giving the error message so if you see the add more here now we are just giving the alert here let us now see how it is working item 1 item 2 click on submit so it is giving success and let's see whether the data is inserted in the database this is item stable so you can see item 1 and item 2 these two rows are inserted so now we'll just change this instead of alert we'll display the message using bootstrap alert so here you will give if response equal to success let us form a string here we'll use bootstrap alert div alert success rows inserted successfully give else copy this instead of success give danger remove this here we'll display the response now we need to display this message go to the form so div id equal to message and we'll display this message in this div dot html str let's see now refresh it give item 3 click on submit button rows inserted successfully go to database four items now 1 2 3 4 if you want to see the error so we'll just give change the name of the table here let us give items 1 now click on submit giving the error so that is also done so now 
once the form is submitted we need to remove this additional field and reset the form so here we need to remove the additional field so dollar now additional field we are adding here let us give another class name here additional row we'll use this class dot remove and reset the form zero dot reset refresh it give item 5 item 6 click on submit so now we can see rows are inserted additional row is removed and the form is reset if you see then the database so now you can see six rows so add form is working fine we are able to insert multiple rows in the database we will display the message outside the form so let us just change this item 7 click on submit okay so this is better now additionally we will display the items in an html table quickly we will do that create an index.php copy this we will select everything from items table we'll get the result set create a bootstrap 5 html table we'll use four columns here keep only one row if there are rows we'll display the data in a in the html table row so here we'll use a for each loop else no items found and here we need to display the data so four rows dollar row id item name red stock give a column span here since it is index.php just give add items so you can see the data displayed we'll change a little bit here table border and table stripe and give a background color here we'll use the class table dark refresh it and now in the add more we just give a button here index.php just copy this and index.php add add more.php refresh it give add items and here view items refresh so click on add items we can see click on view items give a class here add items view items so we have seven rows so let us add item 8 item 9 item 10 
click on submit rows inserted successfully view item there are 10 rows added in the database so we are able to add multiple items in the database we can add remove dynamic fields here and you can view the items which are added in the database so our development is complete so we created a form and we use jquery to add the fields and remove the fields also then use ajax to submit the data and created the row in the database and then just added an html table to view the data so i hope this will be useful for you if you like it please give a like and share this with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel thank you